I serve as the President and CEO for Habitat. And on behalf of our organization, I want to thank all of you for being with us today. I want to thank everyone who's tuning in on Facebook. Uh, Habitat dedications are uh, uh, really kind of symbolic of bringing the whole mission together. So um, just like the Re Rivera family um, who will be receiving their keys today, um, all of our families work extremely hard to get to today. They put in over 350 to 450 sweat equity hours. They complete 20 home buyer education classes and then they purchase their brand new home from Habitat with a zero interest mortgage. And those mortgage payments go into helping to build future Habitat homes. Um, they also contribute to the tax base um, and become um, uh, you know, long-term residences of uh, neighborhoods. So we are so excited for you guys. This is, uh, we know, been a journey, uh, but uh, hopefully today is uh, the start of a new chapter for you. So congratulations. Thank you. So a um, uh, couple things. I'm going to present them with a hammer. Uh, we always present a hammer to the family at a home dedication because it's symbolic of all the hours that you've put into helping to build your home, as well as all the volunteer work that's, that's done to help build a Habitat home. You don't have to use it because this house has been built so great by our amazing construction team. There's a few of them here, um, but uh, I'm going to present that to you. And then I'm also going to present you with a, uh, a Bible. And so at every Habitat home dedication, we ask folks as they gather to sign the Bible, put well wishes here. We know that this will serve as the foundation for which you establish your new home. Um, it has all of life's uh, answers uh, to, to uh, any questions that may um, arise. And so uh, we know that you'll uh, find a good place to put that. I want to introduce Rob from uh, U.S. Congressman Gus Bilirakis's office, and Rob's here to present something to you as well. So this flag flew over the Capitol, and it's just a symbol of the Congressman would like to give him some of his time to speak during the of how to know the whole Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. So uh, a, a flag that was flown in D.C. over the U.S. Capitol. Pretty cool, huh? Awesome. So here to present you with your tax bill, I want to introduce the mayor. Of <laughs> <laughs> not really, not really, but he is here to uh, to say a few a few words. So, Mayor Marlowe, come on up and uh, welcome the family. Just wanted to welcome you guys to uh, Newport Richie, even if I can't see you through my glasses. Uh, it's great to have you uh, join us here in the city. Thank you so much, sir. Enjoy. Thank you, Mayor, and thank you for the continued support from the city. Uh, for To surprise the kids with a, a neat little gift, uh, I want to introduce Brian, Doug, Jason, and Scott. They're with the Holiday Sharing Fund, and they have a, a few words to say. And so uh, whoever wants well, to... Yeah. They're going to do a stream up there. Stream okay. Up. Okay. Yeah. I've never seen Doug Beavis pass up an opportunity to speak. It's <laughs> oh, yeah. a rare occasion. Yeah. Yeah. No. So, uh, the Holiday Sharing Fund is, uh, has, has contributed two bites for one of the, each of the kids. Uh, we're grateful to be partnered with uh, Habitat and make sure that your guys' adventure here with the kids and get involved with the neighborhood is seamless and fun. So, thank you very much. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> <laughs> you know which one's yours? <laughs> The blue one, right? And helmets, too. So, you know, hey, sometimes I need one of those. <laughs> All right. So uh, this home, so when, when we build a Habitat home, um, I mentioned earlier, it takes the volunteer support in the community. It takes a willing municipality. And here in the city of Newport Ritchie, we're, we're extremely thankful to the city for their, their support. And it also takes the financial resources to build a home. And so when we acquired this property, um, uh, we... Uh, and, and decided to build a home here um, for the Rivera family, uh, we decided to make this our ReStore home for the year. And so uh, for those that have never shopped at our ReStore, it's a, uh, uh, an amazing place to find gently used and brand new building supplies, home goods, building materials, all that kind of stuff. Um, and the funds, the proceeds from the ReStore go into building new homes. And so uh, the ReStore staff's here today. So Malia King is our ReStore manager and her team. I'm going to introduce them and ask them to come on up. Um, and uh, Malia's going to say a few words and hand something over to you. So come on up, folks. Hi. Well, this is the first time that Pasco has You guys 
guys have worked so hard. Cherokee, Joshua, you guys, uh, we know the amount of time and energy that goes into building a home. Um, we know that uh, you all had to raise kids, work jobs, and then, oh, hey, Habitat's asking you to do all these sweat equity hours, all these classes, and you guys did such a fabulous job of, of balancing all that. So we are so excited. I know the resource staff was, was extremely excited to meet you guys a few weeks ago. Uh, that darn COVID got in the way and we weren't able to come out and work on the house with you, but um, but we, we know that this house was built with a lot of love. So um, do you guys want to say a few words to the crowd that's here? I do. Um, I just want to say thank you to each and every single one of you. Um, I'm about to cry. Yeah. <laughs> so much for being here today. Uh, as we kind of wrap up, uh, a couple things. One, we're going to say a blessing over the home, and I'm going to invite our COO, um, Ken Rush, to come up and do that. Um, and then as soon as uh, we finish with that, we're going to do a couple photos of the family putting their key in the door for the first time. And then we're going to invite you to come on in and check out the inside of the house. Um, there's some goodies inside for the family. Um, one of our brand new partners, Feeding Tampa Bay, has fully stocked your pantry and fridge. So as you move in, um, there's a ton of stuff, probably enough to cook for everybody here. Um, in case you want to whip up some breakfast. But um, uh, again, thank you all so much for being here. We really do appreciate it. Ken? Yo. Come on up. If you all want to come up and find a place on the house to rest your hand, um, we'll say a blessing over the home. Okay. I'll say one for you. Okay, you can proceed. Yeah, include me, Rob. I need all the help I can get. Shall yeah, we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us the opportunity to come here this morning and celebrate a beautiful day, not only here in the the of Florida, but also just a beautiful day to celebrate with the Rivera family and the dedication of their new home. We know that you have overseen this project in so many different ways. You've placed hands on the family, you've placed hands on Habitat staff and volunteers to make this all possible. And now we ask that you continue these blessings for this family and this community. We pray that you will make this house a safe haven for them, for everything that they need for you, that you'll provide shelter and warmth and food and clothing for them that they can prosper and move forward and be a beacon in this neighborhood. We ask your blessings to continue the guidance of Habitat for Humanity of West Pasco and Pinellas County for, for their staff, that we can continue and operate to provide housing for other families that just want to have that same feeling of safety and love and warmth that you've provided for this family today. We know that you are capable of doing all things and with all things through Christ, nothing is impossible. We ask these blessings in your name. Amen. Amen. All right, so let me catch up. We're going to get you all.